Reporters and journalists are given a tour of the number four nuclear facility to provide an insight into the work ahead. The process of removing the rods is dangerous and could be disastrous if it goes wrong. Wearing TIVEC or protective suits and full-faced masks makes the working conditions more challenging for us. So, in that sense, I feel it is important to make every effort in handling proper procedures to decommission the rods. We have no easy moments, more a sense of tension. Removing rods is normally routine and relatively safe, but the earthquake left debris in the cooling pool, making it a more delicate operation. Each rod contains uranium and a small amount of plutonium. If they're exposed to air and allowed to heat up, it could lead to a nuclear reaction. If that happened, the radiation levels would make it very difficult for engineers to control again. The worst case scenario is that it would start a chain reaction at other nearby nuclear plants, putting Greater Tokyo at risk. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, the company that runs the plant, hasn't specified when exactly it will start the work, but it's expected to begin in the coming days. The Fukushima plants have suffered a series of disasters since they went into meltdown following the earthquake and tsunami in March 2011. Thousands of people have been unable to return to their homes, and in July of this year, TEPCO and the government admitted hundreds of tonnes of radioactive water has been leaking into the sea and ground. Removing the rods is just one of the steps in the process of decommissioning the plants. Completing the work is expected to take decades. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera.